Go ahead, Connor. Yeah, rap sheet. Is there a reason why Jim Caldwell told the Vikings and Raiders to go to hell, or is he just interested in you know coaching Justin Fields or Trevor Lawrence? Um, Wasn't I would there. say this guy. <laughs> Wasn't even listening. Oh, no, 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 I don't worry about it. I'll fuck off. No, I, was I, I was listening. I'm sorry. I got a text. <laughs> Will it, text? Is it anything good? Oh. Um, maybe. Must be fun having dinner. Maybe. <laughs> no, I did not do this at dinner. Oh, I, I know. I yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Of course. Um, big Bloomberg guy. Yeah. yeah. Four phones. Um, so to answer your question, from a guy who watched somebody else uh, shovel his entire. Uh, walkway, driveway, and house this weekend after yeah. a nor'easter dropped a few feet down. I don't believe it was his kids. No, in joining us, uh, the man who's with the weekly wrap up with Rap Sheet and Friends host, us being the friends, he being Rap Sheet, Ian Rappaport. Hey, hey Rap Sheet! What's going on, dude? You can't lift the um, shovel? What's going on? It was, it was my wife. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah. Rap Sheet. Well, oh my God. well, hold on. In my defense, she was the one who was smoking the ribs, so she needed to shovel it <laughs> to make sure that we had a trail to go to the trade. I don't. And she was the only one eating the ribs, too, right? She was just her ribs? Uh, oh, no, well, she was making ribs for racks. you. So, like, yeah. She can't eat four racks of ribs for, by herself. Plus, there was beans, <laughs> there was mac and cheese. Oh. Uh, so she's making this incredible feast for you. And uh, you thought, so, well, since you're doing the making of the feast, yeah, I'm, I'm going to benefit from it. But since you're doing the work, might as well. That's what you said? Well, I mean, she's going there anyway. So it's not like she has to, like, leave the house and, like, <laughs> go guy. somewhere else. She's literally Holy walking shit. there regardless. Oh, Anyway, the ribs were great, by the way. <laughs> I bet, I bet they were, and I'm sure the narrative has been painted that you are a terrible husband. But you, hey, you do what you got to do. You know what I mean? You eat those ribs and beans and everything that that Traeger is. That what you said it was a Traeger girl? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm sure they were pumped too. You know, like oh, oh yeah, yeah, they were pumped. Yeah. It's a new thing they're doing. Traeger provisions. It's really quite delicious, actually. Well, I'm sure, and they're like, thank you, Ian, for telling the world in the middle of one of the biggest snowstorms. Uh, yeah. That you refuse to do anything, but yeah. you will, uh, you know, receive the benefit of how good the Traeger Grill is. That's I'm sure they were pumped for that, yeah. Ian. As are we. Hey, tell your wife she's a fucking angel. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Rapsheet. Thank you, Mrs. Rapsheet. Thank you, Mrs. Sheet. She's great. All right. Yeah, clearly. You dirt bag. Yeah, I mean, she's <laughs> shoving for you. Yeah. All right, anyways, let's get to the football. We do I, have a lot I'll of tell questions. you what else is interesting while we do this. So have you ever seen the movie Draft Day? It's about um, oh, yeah. the Browns. Yeah, Kevin Costner, dude, yeah. Yeah. Kevin Costner, great movie, obviously. Um, I, I am in it seven times. Okay, dude, wow. you're, not you're not sticking Holy around. Shit. Okay, we're not sticking around for that. All right, that's not what you do. Congratulations, Ian. Nice job, man. Congrats, yeah. Ian. That's awesome. Did you? Did the guy win a goddamn Oscar? I mean, yeah, did, can we get him an Oscar? Let's get Dan Patrick show uh, an oh, Emmy, right? And let's get Ian Rappaport an Oscar. The man deserves it. Also, I can't wait for your stand-up special. We remember you told us last week you were a comedian, and we do appreciate everything you do for us. Joining us now is maybe a man who knows what the hell's going on around the NFL. He was just on TV. Wow. What? Just on TV, yeah. The television? He's always on television. He's He arrived in L.A. last night, decided to get, immediately get boozed up. Yeah. Oh, Classic. Uh, shout out to La Cha Cha, he yeah, said, yeah. with a whole... This guy. Blue margarita. Ladies and gentlemen, Ian Rappaport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Can't wait to see you in real life, hopefully, this week. You'll make your way out to the peasants over there at Radio yeah. Row. Yeah. I will, I will try. No guarantees. My oh. time is obviously real valuable, but... Uh, I will try to kind of make my way over there and, and do my TV stuff from the convention center and maybe talk to you guys, too. Well, and if it means anything, we will have booze there for you. Yeah, right? that's right. Just oh. to draw you in. Okay, well, let's go. <laughs> That's Thanks unbelievable. Nice. That's unbelievable. Super Bowl week, the biggest week. There's going to be a lot of news to break, and the first thing you post is, ah, great to be here. Let me, let me get this. Four fingers yeah, deep of yeah. blue margarita immediately <laughs> upon landing here. I mean, let's. What are we doing, rap? We working? no. It was first of all, it was a long flight. Second of all, <sighs> of uh, there was a lot of things happening. All right, so and there's nothing wrong with a blue, you know, whatever that was. The food was great, by the way. Uh, La Cha 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 was the restaurant. Really, an excellent recommendation. I had a nice day. <laughs> all right. Well, we're thankful you're out there. We're excited to see what you do this week. All right, always fun, guys. I'm going to go back to staring at myself on four different uh, four different monitors. <laughs> hey, that place is much nicer than Culver City, huh? Oh, yeah. It's pretty swanky. <laughs> Maybe can come visit. I'll tour you around. I don't know where anything is, though, but I'll tour you around anyway. Oh, oh me and the boys? No, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, you oh, son of a bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, Ian Rappaport. <laughs> 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 
What's that all about? I don't know. He's a yeah. sack of wine. Was that I mean, I get it. I kind of respected it. <laughs> yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, joining us now is a man who normally calls from his basement. A man who had his wife. I mean. Don't even mention it. Well. Shovel four feet of snow to make him ribs while he sat and posted about it online. Jesus. Although that might say that this dude's a terrible person, you can make those judgments for yourself because what he does for NFL Network and NFL.com is nothing short of magical. For the first time ever, live and in person, the host of the weekly wrap-up with Rap Sheet and Friends, us being friends, he being Rap Sheet, ladies and gentlemen, NFL Insider, Ian Rappaport. Yeah, yeah, baby, Rappaport. Yeah. Oh, he's boosted yeah. up still. Oh, oh, my God. Ian, good to see you. Good to see you. you. Rappaport. Appreciate hey, you, buddy. Thank, right. you. Thank you. Rappaport. Thank you. What's up, Rap? Thanks, man. Jesus, like a brewery. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, did you have a meeting with Emmett Smith earlier? What a moment. Oh, uh, your mic's off. Oh, God. What about no, now? There you go. Yeah, good. You're on, yeah. You're on. What a moment. This is awesome. Don't let that chair swallow you there. The, um... So, it's kind of offensive. <laughs> no. What are you talking about? Oh, We're a very mean? pro, go, go Rappaport show. show. Dude, right. don't worry about that. So is that Jude and Max in the back there hanging out? Where are you guys headed on a Jude and Max, you want to say hi? Hello. Hey, great flow. Hey. Hi, Leah. Hey. Hi, boss. Hello, what? Mrs. Sheet. Hi, Mrs. Sheet. Hi, yeah, Mrs. very Sheet. nice to see you, Mr. Happy St. Paddy's Day. Happy St. Paddy's, Happy St. Paddy's, Paddy's Day. 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 I ain't only boozing yet. Okay, Jude and Max. No, no boo. Hey, guys, no booze. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it runs in the family. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> runs in the family, okay? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, my God. What are you guys oh going on, God. a family trip right now? Or is I'm going to have to explain that to them a little later. No, they know. They see your IG stories. Yeah. This guy was just hammering. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Star, yeah. Please. Yeah. Was, yeah. What, is that yeah. apple After juice? Yeah. Huh? After free agency, I needed a little. It's been, it has been a week, and it's not even done yet. So You're back in the car, always on the move, right. always cooking. What do you got going on? Uh, well... Kids are on vacation this week, so we just went to the uh, Pez factory and visitor center in Connecticut. <laughs> I was, I love Pez. I grew up on Pez. It's my favorite candy, that and Smarties. Favorite. Um, so I was in heaven. It was great. Jesus, so Jesus. great. We're not going to get into it because you're having a day. Yeah. Okay, Pez. Father of the Year. Pez candy being your favorite candy is serial killer like. Yeah. Yeah. Not job. That is. That's a real problem. Yeah. Do you not? Do you don't think that? Psychopath. When you go to this factory, you get to have as much Pez as you want. You put it in this bucket. That'd be great. And then you just come yeah. out with like hundreds Golden of Pez in situation. all the different flavors. Oh, it's really man, great. That is awesome. Wow, because I, I don't think I've ever seen a Pez get emptied. Like I no, always I don't no, see like no. the start of it. Oh, look at this. Hot time mm -hmm, pops up. Yeah. Kind of like the uh, sake at a uh, sure. uh, like a okay. hibachi. Yeah, hibachi right. where uh -huh. the pants come down and it shoots yeah. the, yep. ne the That is never empty. That is true. Yes. Yeah, I, the Pez one never, because nobody ever finishes. They have a couple, like, oh, this oh, is cool. Yeah, Let's get the hell out. Yeah. It's chalk. I, I, this is way more than you wanted to know, but I have a Pez collection at home. I finished multiple. Yeah. I mean, um, this is my freak. wheelhouse. Pez, Smarties, Gobstoppers. These are, like, real games. Smarties, not bad. Smarties, not Smarties bad. Smarties, not bad. Gobstoppers. I don't know, like, chalky. best and favorite of all candies? Oh, yeah. By a lot. By a lot. So you got a Pez museum in your house right now? So you, you're forcing your kids to go to this right now? Like, hey, it's your spring break. Let's go to dad's favorite place. Yeah, well, I they got they got to eat a lot of Pez, and there was Did also they, a scavenger hunt where they got to Did search for to? Pez. So I'll look for them. They okay. they got enough. I mean, it was for me, obviously, but they got enough stuff to satisfy themselves. Hey, Pez is delicious, man. Congrats! Shout out, yeah. Shout out Pez. Thank you for being dad Thanks. and mom of the year over there. You guys are very good parents. We appreciate that. So, AJ Rivas, absolute dog on the field. Uh, I actually got to see uh, a little bit of that interview. Yeah, what an interesting dude, too. Like, I don't know him personally, but, yeah, I have a ton of respect for him, for sure. Yeah, he ran right by me and my teammates. At I think he did that to a lot of people. He's very good. Yeah, he, was, he had five touchdowns in his high school state championship right down there at uh, Heinz Field. Yeah. Five of them. I I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a good uh, – I'd say it's a good day to choose to score five touchdowns. I don't think it was abnormal. I no, assume, yeah, that was probably, probably average. Yeah, that was probably happening on a regular basis. Just a great athlete. Joining us, the complete opposite of that. A man who is an insider <laughs> about the athletes. AJ, your haircut looks even better today. That's so yeah. rude. Right. That's so rude. Golfer, senior NFL insider for the league and NFL.com. Ladies and gentlemen, host a weekly wrap up with Rap Sheet and Friends. Us being the friends, he being Rap Sheet, Ian Rappaport. Kind of got some ricochet shots and a burial there, but the sentence sounded great, so there ain't nothing you could do about it. You do not look that athletic. I might be wrong, though. Uh, you'd be wrong. 
Uh, I got I got great hands, nice soft hands, good for chipping, uh, good for catching a baseball and throwing. Uh, AJ you know, and I were about to ask. AJ and I were about to ask. I literally saw it come. Can you throw a ball and catch a ball? Can you throw a football and catch a football? I certainly can. I played uh, played three sports in high school. Whoa. Thank you very much. Slow down. Uh, Which three? Tried to play. Tried to play baseball at Columbia. Uh, was not good enough. Oh. Ended up as a lightweight rower for four years. It was also not very good, but I oh, did right. play. So that's, that's, once that's again, my resume. It's a sport you, you can't. Can you throw and catch? Oh, I can throw and catch. I got some game. Okay. All right. Hey, listen. Athlete yeah. Ian Rappaport. Yeah. Uh, I can't. I can't kick a lot of things though. Well, everybody sucks at kicking, and then everybody says kicking's so easy. It's like, all right. <laughs> okay. Well, if it's so easy, then why do you suck at it? You can throw one. You can't kick Very it. Fair. Nonetheless, let's move on. Hold on. We spend so, you're we spend saying, so much. You say, you're What's saying that? you can't spell comedian without Ian? Is that what you're saying? You, is that where you are? <laughs> Is that where no, you're? No, I am actually really funny. People don't know that. Oh, uh, no. If you tell other people that, That's a problem. Yeah. That's Tiffany, not you're not. It's over now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that that might have been. You might have got over. canceled from the funny train yeah. because mm-hmm. telling you people that's you're it? funny. Yeah. Well, he never said he was humble. So. <laughs> True. <laughs> Maybe. True. Well, you may, you've made yeah. us laugh. Yeah. Yeah. A couple times. All Numerous. Times. Here and there, yeah. All yeah. the time. It's going to be tough now, though, after you said, like, I am funny to us, though. I mean, his Instagram Right, because then you sort of lose the element of surprise. Well, yeah, the expectation, like, wow, funny. The expectation goes up, I think. Yeah. Right. All right, we're going to judge you alongside Bill yeah. Burr, dude. Have to. All right, let's get to it. Uh, <laughs> tell us a joke, Hey, tell us a joke. Come on, Bill. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, dude. All right, let's get to it. We appreciate you, Ian. You're the best. Yeah. Ian. Corey Bohorquez, potentially out for the Green Bay Packers, which is what we were just speaking of. We will get to all the other headlines around the NFL that you might know information. Who's going to go kick for them up there? Is that going to be the Scottish Hammer? Oh. Is Jamie Gillen going to punt up there? Who's going to punt for them if Bojo can't go-go on Sunday night football? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You fucking stink. <laughs> Jeez. It's a punter. You know? guy. I mean, it's like. Not saying anything like my favorite TV host is a punter. Well, I would say was a punter. Pat Summer. Or whatever. This isn't a TV. Whatever <laughs> medium this is. So I do appreciate punters once they exit the NFL. Oh, when they're geez. in the NFL, this guy. just kind of like you go out there, you do your thing. Sometimes you get blocked and everyone's like, oh, my God. And then that's kind of you just go back to the sideline. All right, Ian. Every single punter in the league could dunk on you in every single facet of life. 